Hey guys, it's Pamela. I'm doing a big one today and uh, I've got a 24 by 30 inch canvas. I've done this size once before with a straight cord, but I was still learning, so um, yeah. Okay, I threw my back, I'm not looking for sympathy, but I threw my back out Carl around on this hard floor because this is the first time I've poured on the floor. <laughs> and maybe the last. Okay. Here's the phthalo blue. Just gonna pour that straight in. I didn't make much of it, <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to get it all in there. Now, purple and yellow, or purple and gold, same thing basically, will turn green. So, oh, I don't know if I want to use the gold or not, but. Silver is already reacting in the cup. That's great. So I hope I don't fall over when I'm trying to tilt this. But seriously, it is. Oh, that's the trials of getting old. I think I will use a little gold. Should I use it in the cup or in the dome? I mean, in the swirl. <laughs> I have a reinforcement pad under the canvas bar, so maybe it will hold it. I can't reach over there and, and get the drip. I don't know how I'm going to tilt this. Okay, we're going to just wait for it to react a minute. Canvas.
My skirt's too thick. I thought I'd try it a little bit thicker. Nope. I'm gonna mix up some more base coat. Mixed up more base coat, made it thinner. Why not? Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I think it's finished developing. I don't think it's gonna do anything else. I think those are all the cells that's gonna come up. I don't think they're gonna expand anymore. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and tell you exactly what I did. I had a base coat and I wanted to make it a little thicker so that it stuck to the sides because this straight pour paint is a little bit thinner and it's going to kind of run down the sides and look a little funny. So I did the, uh, the sides in the beginning with a thicker consistency of paint. Then I did my straight pour cup paint. And I made that too thick in the beginning. That's why nothing happened as far as cell action. It was pretty, but nothing happened. So it should really be, your straight pour cup should really be, uh, it should not leave a mound, but not sink. When you pour it off your stick about an inch and a half from the surface, not too thin, but no mound, or the slightest mound. There you go. I also had a tablespoon of Liquitex pouring medium in that cup. I may try it without next time, so I'm still experimenting like everyone else. Um, in the metallics, I just did one-to-one -one with Floetrol. The straight pour cup was two-to-one with Floetrol, two parts Floetrol and part paint. And uh, that's about it. That's what I did. Next time I'm going to make that straight pour cup a little thinner. Okay guys, it's been sitting for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and uh, I'm liking it much better. The entire thing is filled with cells, and uh, it's a little busy, but I was worried there weren't going to be enough cells, so especially having to pour it twice. So I'm happy with it. I'm not going to scrape it. It's a keeper. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.